minus one year from TCO. Very exciting. One of my favorite places to be on a construction site. <laughs> one mean, year or one we, day from TCO? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll be even happier at TCO. Yeah. But um, I think sitting here looking at the view and just how amazing this is going to be is, is pretty spectacular. What was my inspiration for the two towers and the massing of the building? I mean, obviously the shipbuilding legacy here, as well as all the manufacturing and all the craftsmanship that was produced in Greenpoint. Yeah. What I think is actually genius about the, the, the two tower massing is by having a tower set back uh, the East Tower, you actually maximize views of the water, of the Manhattan skyline, you also create eight sets of corners, yeah, which a lot adds, of corners. which which adds, you know, eight sets of corners means much more efficient layouts. And what I personally love is that, you know, in a rental building, it's not, it's not as important how intimate the floor plates are, and and there's there, there's less of a sense of community. In a condo building, and then where 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 there's residences and owners, you want to have a sense of community. And so the two tower massing also allows you to have uh, more intimate floor plates. Uh, hopefully, you know, neighbors will get to know each other and, you know, they can have wine and cheese on Tuesdays. A lot of opportunities for outdoor space as well. That too, that too. So let's talk a little bit about the facade materials. Sure. You know, one of the things that we wanted to do is make a distinctive, iconic image for the building. And by using the bronze tone metal um, and the very large windows and the overall grid pattern, I think we've created something that's really special. For the neighborhood. As we mentioned, you know, Greenpoint was an industrial hub um, and, and now it's evolving. Yeah, I mean, I think the legacy of manufacturing and craftsmanship are both evident in the facade design. So I think the amenity design uh, was, was hyper intentional uh, on your part. And I think the locations of the amenities were all, were all well thought out. I think it's um, it's pretty spectacular to have uh, sitting right on the waterfront, right on the Greenpoint Promenade, looking out into Manhattan and looking out over the river. A pool, 50-foot saltwater pool, a gym with a uh, yoga or meditation studio, and a really beautiful residence lounge. The children's amenities, so the kids' room, the teen lounge, and we have um, an 8,000-square-foot outdoor park and playground is there on the second floor. And so what that does is, A, it provides a sense of security and safety, that there's access control, you have to be inside the building to access those areas. And you know, you're elevated up, so the, the park has views of the city. And so it is kind of its own small cocoon in a way, which provides an element of safety and security, in, in my mind, uh, that's, that's unique for children amenities. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think 30,000 square feet of amenities is amazing, but also just the position, as you mentioned, and the views of the water I think really make yeah. it special. And one other thing that's quite cool about the building is by having two towers, you have two roof decks. And so we've programmed both of the roof decks uh, and themed them in a different way. So the West Tower rooftop is more about active recreation. It's social. It's about gathering with friends. There's grills and tables, and it's a place to hang out and laugh. And then the East Tower is more about passive recreation. And so there's a big green lawn. It's the kind of place where you go for a picnic, where we might set up um, you know, a, a projector and have and have movies played uh, at night, you know, overlooking the Manhattan skyline. Thinking about the design, I like to think about, you know, the overall process, where we started and just started sketching and coming up with a lot of different ideas. We wanted to draw on the neighborhood, the history, the shipbuilding, but it really didn't become apparent until I started to look at the sketches. We had like a big wall and it just didn't feel right, you know, and then as started started to look at that and then that sort of transition morphed into two towers, started to, you know, the smokestacks from the ship, that sort of influence was there, but also just creating something that was right for the neighborhood and not like a lot of glass and something that refer was referential in manufacturing, but also didn't feel so heavy handed. And so I think that we found the right balance with an iconic color and shapes and forms and also the two volumes really work well from a planning standpoint. But what I will say that is one of my favorite things is, you know, again, it, this harkens back to the, to the design and the two tower layout. And there are a number of setbacks that you have. A lot of those are elective. They weren't required by yep. zoning. But the impact of those setbacks and having two towers above a podium base 
is that there's a lot of private outdoor space. There's actually Tons. over 24,000 square feet of private yeah. outdoor space. And so I believe 67 units uh, out of the 171 have private outdoor yeah. space, more than a third of the units. Yeah. That is extremely unique, and especially in today's time where people value uh, outdoor space. Yeah. Um, and it I think is there's a good unique. share of private and public outdoor space for the building. I think the holistic design is what's really great. Everything from the overall massing to the detailing of the architecture, the interiors, all the way down to the selection of the art, which I think really enhances the That's overall right. experience. That's right. And one other thing that I absolutely love about the building is that the amenity package, uh, 30,000 square feet, gym, yoga room, sauna, pool, co-working space, residence lounge, dining room, kids room, teen room, outdoor park, roof decks, all I of those things. I think we need things, to move in. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>